Coming up on the program, it is time to harvest our huge onions. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Well, today is the day that we have been waiting for for quite some time to harvest our large onions. We've got red ruby onions, we've got white uh, Spanish onions, and some yellow Spanish onions here. Now, the story behind these onions, these were all started from seed. Approximately the second week of January is when we started them, and we started them in the Root Maker one gallon grow bags. We had tried many different techniques of starting onions indoors, which is the recommended procedure in order to grow these, and we just didn't have the success. So we looked at our options and we decided, let's go with the one gallon grow bags from Root Maker. We put, uh, we did several different variations, but the best that worked out for us was about 50 to 60 seeds in each container. And we planted them, put them under the Happy Leaf LED grow lights, and they have done very well inside. And then we brought them out and we planted them in the square foot garden method, which is between four and nine plants per square foot. We went with nine per square foot and it's worked very, very well. The other thing that we had done differently is we didn't put these in the traditional ground. A lot of the ground garden that we have has done very well, but the onions just did not do well in the ground that we had. So we put them in the Sioux Growing Supply <coughs> uh, potting soil, professional potting soil, and we have here some certified leaf compost from Sioux that we've also grown them in, in our raised bed from Art of the Garden. These have done really well. Now the ones that we'll harvest a little bit later in the 60 gallon grow bags from Root Maker did not do as well as, as these. And there's a very specific reason from our Exper ex uh, experience of why that didn't work and we'll get to that in just a moment but I want to harvest these these are the biggest we've ever grown these are seeds uh, the, we started from seed uh, and these are long day onions for us here in the zone 5a here in Wisconsin based on where you're at you may have difficulty growing onions because you have dense soil or you may be growing the wrong variety of onions they're short day long day and neutral day onions and you can go to any of your favorite search engines and look at that and find out where you're at in the country and or the world and that will determine the type of onion that you need to be growing in your area to get big bulbing onions like we have here. If you grow the wrong onion in your area you may get little to no bulbing but a lot of green tops. So let's go ahead. We topped these a couple of weeks ago and we could leave these longer but we're going to go ahead and pull all of them out to get this bag cleaned out for another planting of uh, fall vegetables but we planted these very deep and because of the loose soil the, it didn't affect the bulb if you're in dense soil like traditional ground in some instances if you plant them too deep the soil is going to restrict them and uh, prevent the bulb from getting large enough to develop with this loose soil had no issue whatsoever that was a ruby red here is a double ruby red which I'm not real sure how this happened but it has split and you can see the, the general bulb here and then an additional growth right there. Now we didn't have all a wonderful success in this bed. I mean to some of you this may be just unbelievably be, uh, great and to some of you you may think well these are kind of tiny so everybody has their own level of these are great uh, category. So this is one of the smaller ones well that's not one of the smaller ones these are some of the smaller ones here. Now, typically, when we had done growing onions in the actual ground garden for us, if we got something like this, we were excited. If we got something like this, we felt we had just accomplished a world record. Uh, so we had to change up because these to us was not going to be worth the effort. This one might. These were, these were more looking like cocktail onions than actual slicing onions. So we, we did what we had to do and did a research and found that this was the best way. I mean, that's, that's farmer market, maybe state fair, uh, pretty right there. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest all of these. Here's another really nice ruby red uh, onion there. I'm going to harvest all these. We'll lay them out. We'll take a look at what we got and then we'll go over how we want to cure these so we get the most longevity out of our onion. 
and then we'll take a look at the onions that we got growing in the Rootmaker 60 gallon grow bag that didn't do very well and I'll explain why they didn't do very well. So we've harvested them all out of the bed and we have a very beautiful selection of onions and just to give you con some comparison obviously you don't know how large my hand is so that doesn't help you much on video to describe how large it is this is a traditional coffee cup doesn't even fit in the top kind of comparison to the side that's a decent size onion let's go with a larger red one here that's the double red one and you can see how big some of these are in comparison to the coffee cup or coffee mug even that's a giant white one there uh, these are the biggest ones like I said we've ever grown and just with a combination of a lot of things good seed from in my gardener good soil from Sioux growing supply a raised bed from our the garden and starting them in the one gallon grow bags from root maker combination of all that allowed us to get what we have today with these now let's talk about curing these onions uh, there's a ways that you can cure them. You can leave them in the ground. But before we do that, I want to go and harvest those in the 60 gallon grow bag that didn't do so well. And I'll explain why they didn't do so well. So next year, we know what we did wrong and you won't make the mistake that we made. So this is our 60 gallon grow bag in which we had planted onions. Uh, beside it is got some fall cabbage and then we've got potatoes and bush beans intercropped in the third bag. These onions here, I'll go ahead and harvest, these are mainly red ruby onions, the red onions there, and these did not do well at all. We did trim them back uh, about a week ago just to try to get rid of some of the top growth that had nothing to do with what has occurred here. What The reason why that bed back in the front yard worked so well and this one didn't was because of the tree that is slightly above us in the uh, bed here that the onions are in. Onions are day length sensitive, which means that at a certain day length of light, then they will begin to stop putting on top growth and begin working on bulb development. The bed out front has full sun, even though the shade of the tree exists here, during the full daylight hours, that bed gets almost 99% of full sun out in the front yard. This bed here, there are per, per, uh, particular hours during the afternoon in which this bed here is shaded completely until the sun moves past the tree as it has at this point during the day. This greatly affects the bulb development and is a key contributor to why we have very underdeveloped onion bulbs here. We will harvest them and utilize them. Now these are the type of size of onion bulbs in which we typically on an average year in the past was very happy to get out of the traditional ground garden. But we'll go ahead and remove all of these and then we'll go ahead and put a fall crop of uh, something in here. But that's the reason why. We won't be growing onions in this particular bed in this particular location again. We will figure out where we can put another bed like this and then go ahead and plant onions again. Uh, we will revitalize the soil in the front yard bed and we can, will greatly consider growing them again in that area. So I'll harvest these, we'll head back to the front yard and we'll talk about how we're gonna cure these to get the best longevity in storage out of our onions. So in order to cure your onions for long-term st storage, you can do a couple of things. You can leave them out like this in the sun for a couple of days and let them begin to dry out, uh, especially tops, and then you can trim them back like you would see store-bought onions and trim the roots. But you'd want to make sure the tops were completely dead because some energy does go back into the bulb. If you don't want to do that, you can put them on an air uh, a screen elevated under a shade for a couple of days or uh, uh, an amount of time that it takes for them to dry. Or you can take them inside in a controlled environment, 70 to 80 degrees, lay them out on a table and allow that to occur as well. Now that may take a longer period of time because you're inside or in a garage or basement or something of that nature. We didn't want to leave them in the ground too long because they can start molding or rotting if uh, the conditions are just right. 
uh, with that. So uh, growing onions with the smaller ones, we'll use those for soups and stews. With these, you can certainly use them right away. You don't have to wait for them to cure in order to use them. You can cut them up, use them right now. But the long-term storage or curing of the onion is important if you're going to store them. And there's a bunch of different ways in which you can find online to work for your situation on the best way to store them, uh, essentially out of direct sunlight in a cool, dry place. So we are very happy with these onions and we'll follow all the steps that we did this year again next year in hopes of the same result. For more information, please visit the